Hello and welcome back to JBCCR where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pro Alloy induction kit and telling you exactly what I think of it. So if you follow JBCTR on the regular, uh, you will know that I have had the Pro Alloy induction kit fitted to my car quite recently. I was very fortunate to go to the factory and see it being made and then have it professionally installed by the guys at SCC. But the one thing I've not got around to doing is actually telling you guys what it's like to live with and kind of what it does really. So today um, I plan on basically just going for a drive, enjoy myself and then hopefully you guys can get a feel for what this kit is like to live with. So um, without further ado, let's crack on. Well, we start this review with a little bit of a false start. So I've um, come to the Cotswolds to get some nice, you know, backdrops and stuff to film this one because I thought it would be nice. Um, but I've immediately turned down a road which is very narrow, very bumpy and oh, there's even a partridge. So we've navigated the partridge. Um, let's start by talking about my general overall opinion of it. Um, so firstly, I think it's a great kit for a daily. Um, it's not actually too intrusive on the old sound, which I'm sure you'll hear in a minute. Um, but I like the fact that I know it's doing good for the engine and it's good and free flowing and all that awesome stuff. So. Um, let's get out onto the more open road because I've now got some walkers to navigate uh, and we'll talk about it in a bit more detail. Oh, finally, some normal road. And there you go, your first slight glimpse of what the uh, induction kit sounds like from the driver's seat because of course my mic is right here. So um, I really like the sound of this one. Um, it's less of a do 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 and more of a sha sha sha, um, which I think is much better for a daily, to be honest, because it's less in your face and shouty. But that said, if you do want to hammer it and go up to full boost and then let off, you still get that trademark dump sound. The uh, the fun sounds I find are actually kind of on partial throttle at, at lower speeds, to be honest. Bit of a sh -sh there, hopefully you could hear that. And uh, yeah, this is kind of the issue with having a, an induction kit, is you end up driving along the road doing this and just playing. So, um, but yeah, I think all in all, I quite like it. Now, another useful tidbit of information that I picked up from talking to the guys who designed the Pro Alloy kit is that when they designed this on their 2019 Fiesta ST, they found it to be a whole lot louder than on the earlier models. So this is a 2018 car, and the only real difference that I'm aware of between the two cars is that my car has a recirculation valve from factory, and in 2019, at some point, uh, Ford stopped putting those research valves in the Fiesta STs and it seems that those cars that don't have those valves seem to be a whole lot louder on the induction front so um, yeah just something worth bearing in mind if you're looking at purchasing one of these that my video might be 
very slightly different to your experience. Now, one thing that was quite interesting that I found out from the guys at Pry Alloy is um, when you, well, when they did the development of this kit, they did it on a car that was completely stock. Um, so no software, no nothing. The only change was their induction kit. And they did some uh, dyno testing. And what is very interesting is that they discovered what I guess I knew already, but I hadn't really seen any proof of. So when they did the original dyno test, it was as a, on a stock car, it was around about the 200 horsepower, as you would expect. And then they put the Pro Alloy full induction kit on the car and the car made 209 horsepower for the first run and then the second run was around about 205 and then by the third run it was back down to 200 um, and for me that is just evidence that the stock ECO with the stock software on it it will see that there's more air coming in and say ah yeah thanks for that cheers but I don't really need it so uh, I'm just gonna dial things back again so I'm back to where I know where I, I need to be and um, and that's great and you still get a little bit of the sound and, and all that good stuff but to really make the most of this kit you do need some software on the car now at, at time of filming at least uh, there isn't a huge amount of software out there for this car other than the sort of stage ones if you want to call them that um, but those that type of software will take advantage of this kit um, I have yet to get this car on a dyno and I'm quite intrigued to do that um, but in theory we should see figures in excess of those quoted by the tuners of putting the software onto the car and uh, to be honest I would believe that so this car has already run a dyno of 263 uh, with just an induction cone on the end uh, and the Revo software I would be very intrigued to see if this stage three stuff makes a big difference on a stage one software package. Um, so yeah, I feel there's interesting times ahead because I'm intrigued. So there we have it, the Pro Alloy induction kit from Mark 8 Fiesta ST. Um, certainly gets my thumbs up because I think the build quality is absolutely fantastic. The way it fits the car, um, I mean, it, it looks like it's always been made to be there, to be honest. Um, the extra sort of high flow intake stuff, um, I'm sure I'm benefiting a little bit. I think response is slightly improved, but really I need the extra software to take advantage of that. So um, hopefully, the tuners will come out with something soon so we can start taking full advantage of the kit but from where it is right now i love the sound it's not too intrusive for a daily and uh yeah as i say it looks absolutely brilliant in the engine bay so uh yeah top marks from jbctr and with that i think we'll leave it there so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me the fiesta other car content then feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Cause I'm safe from my soul.